my niggas tryna get it, you bitch. Yeah, bitch. Get that house yeah, they tell me is you with it, you bitch. Yeah, bitch. Home yeah, bitch. invasion was persuasive. Was persuasive, was persuasive. From nine to five, I know it's Yo, what's up, man? We in the green room right now. Uh this is Tony Robbins album special. I'm just gonna do a little green room edition and introduce y'all to well, y'all probably already know this guy, man. This is my brother Martini Harris out of Detroit. Hilarious, funny as hell, man. I first caught him on Comic View doing this Richard Pryor impersonation that he kills. I don't even know why he, he should be in the movie as Richard Pryor. Man, I wish. Yeah, he should be in the movie as Richard Pryor, but I you wish. did your thing tonight, brother. And I'm just happy to be on the show with you, man. Oh, dude, man, it's an honor, dog. You yeah, know what I'm saying? That's man, what's I was just out there having fun, dude. You know what I'm saying? Tony Roberts is one of the guys back in the day. Um, he was a beast then. And the thing is, what made me strong was a lot of comedians hate to follow him because his energy. Right. But my thing was, and it took a while, mm -hmm. but my thing was, I said, I want to follow this dude. Right. Because the energy, and I call it a wave. Okay. And with me doing that over the years, like these um, different clubs, like 313, um, Strawberry Fields and stuff like that that I went behind him, um, it, helped, it helped me to form a formula right. within my, my, my set and my comedy groove. And I call it CET Ket. That's creativity, energy, and timing. Wow. You put CET with anything, it'll work. And the, the thing, um, what I mean by that is, it's like I'm carrying comedy right now. Okay. But when you get up on a... Um, Mark Lawrence, the Chris Tucker, right. you know, I'm saying all these guys. When you get on their level, you know what I'm saying. Comedy carries them right. because they can say anything. Jimmy Fox get up on stage and just say window. They just break out laughing. Right. Right. Let me say window. Who the hell are you talking to? You know what I'm saying. So you say you have to work hard for them. exactly, and you so. try to catch them because I came up with the old uptown. You know the real gritty, and yeah. I'm sure you were familiar. What was the club? Cause the owner of Uptown and owned the club here. Yeah, yeah, Joe, Joe Cole. What was the name? Piece. What was the name? Joe of that Cole. Club? It was on um, Coco's House of Comedy. Yeah, I wasn't funny enough the time when when Joe Cole owned Uptown. They were going to be out there. I would pay twenty dollars <laughs> to get in. I would pay twenty dollars to get in, and they would boo me out. <laughs> okay, but you know it's all love, and yeah. it made me stronger. And the question I have for you is, how do you feel about the state of comedy today? Ah, uh, dude, man, the state of comedy right now, man, is um, it's it's we don't have enough trendsetters. You know what I'm saying? You got a lot of people that they um, even the, the big comedians. You know what I'm saying? Um, they it's it's almost like well, I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna take that because I don't want you to come up where I'm at. I don't want nobody taking my place. And the thing I'm saying is like uh, I wish in comedy that we had a Johnny Carson. Johnny Carson is where David um, um, Jay Leno is, and he tied the knot to that. Johnny right. Carson back in the day is responsible for the Chevy Chase, the Steve Martins, the Bill Murrays. You know what I'm saying? These guys that was hilarious, and he showed the world to them. To me, Saturday Night Live didn't um, create itself. Right. Johnny Carson created that. And I don't mean the show itself, but the comedians. Without those funny comedians, Saturday Night Live wouldn't be what it is today. Do, do you think comedians are becoming more protected because of the, do, you, do you believe it's an oversaturation in the market of, of comedians at this point? Yeah, in so many words. Like, is yeah. this shit the new rap for niggas? Is it's new. It's, I, I think comedy is turning to the new rap. I, it wasn't even cool to be funny when I was growing up. Like, well, I mean, it could be the new rap, but as long as they don't bring that killing shit over here. Well, you know, like, shit, it's <laughs> been some violence about to it, and yeah. I could be a witness to that. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm not going to talk about that negative shit, but I got my ass whipped over a motherfucking joke by a good friend of yours who you came through the ranks with, but I'm not going to get on that right now. They're going to get on that. That's get a whole other story, man, but yeah. how do you feel about internet comics? Um, Instagram. Well, internet comics, man, just to have something to to um, um, to laugh at and something new in a new groove, you know what I'm saying? Right. Where is it? It's just like the rap thing you're saying. It's like the comedy is the new rap thing. Right. The internet comics is no different from rappers like the underground rappers. Underground rappers don't want to be famous. They right. want to stay underground. You right. know what I'm saying? They, I know some underground rappers. They got deals. Right. And they turn them down. Like, no, I'm good where I'm at. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, um... With that being said, it's just uh, the internet um, uh, comedy, dude, it's, it, it, it's good, you know what I'm right, saying? But right. they have to protect 
their sales. Protect yourself for real. Because you internet comedians, if you ain't got your papers right, you know what I'm saying, copyrights, dudes out here taking your shit. Well, I mean, do you think they should get a copy written for 15 second Instagram? Yeah, dude, I mean, anything, dude, it, uh, somebody steal one second. I mean, it's powerful. Yeah. It's, Instagram is powerful. Like, I learned how powerful it was off my ass whooping I got, yeah. you know, but it's very powerful. But I just, I just tell you this. And I'm trying. Let me tell you something. I've been trying to pick up and do more Instagram and do silly shit to build my base. I salute all internet comics. I think it's a marvelous way to increase your fan base and show yourself to the world. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Cause all shit. I came with one number comic view, but now they got that. So. Yeah. yeah. But in the great words of the great late Richard Pryor. Say, man, the last time I did my shit, man, I got down, right? <laughs> See, man, I'm more than drugs and I'm more than comedy. Motherfucker, don't look at shit, right? You don't get down, nigga. That shit is <laughs> Man, you killed that, man. Well, thank you, brother. Hey, Yo, man, it was good great. working with you again, yeah, man. This is uh, a hard walk. No doubt. Yeah. And that's a wrap. Oh, yeah. Surf on wide and I bet you'll never find a little nigga with a